Hello, welcome to Maths with Niall. Today we'll be doing factors and Bob, Factor Bob, is going to be helping us and we'll be using him in some different videos, not just this one. Hi Niall, so we're doing factors today. Can you tell everybody what's a factor? A factor is a number that can go into a number without a remainder. Okay. So, to explain that using an example, can you tell us a factor of 10? 5. And why is 5 a factor of 10? Because 2 times 5 equals 10, so and five, there are no remainders. So, 5 can go into 10 twice without a remainder? Yes. Does that mean 2 is also a factor of 10? Yes. Why? Because 2 can go into... Ten five times. Brilliant. Let's start with the number six. We're going to list all the factors of six in factor pairs and we're going to think about the smallest one and go from there. Okay, so six will go on his head. Okay. I just came up with that idea. Brilliant. Um, and then one. Uh, one lot of six. Okay, one lot of six. So one times six is six, so that's a factor pair, that's two of the factors of six. Yes. What else? Two times three equals six. So 2 times 3 equals 6. So 2 and 3 are both factors of 6. Any other factors of 6? Uh, no. Nah. No, that's it. Very good. So how many factors does 6 have? Um, 6 has 4 factors. Yes, 4 factors. Brilliant. Okay, right. Can we now do the factors of 8? So, 1 times 8. So, how many times is 1 going to 8? 1 goes into 8, 8 times. And 8 goes into 8? One time. Once, good. Now, because 8 is an even number, 2 can go into it. And 2 times 4 equals 8. Very good, Mike. Okay, let's have a look. So 2 goes into 8 four times, and 4 goes into 8 twice. So they're both factors as well. Are there any other factors of 8? No. So how many factors does 8 have? 4 as Very well as 6. Very good. So let's go on and let's do the factors of 12. Okay. Um, so 1 times 12 equals 12. Very good. So, yeah. And then we need to do 2 times 6. So, 2 and 6, now. why are they factors? 6 goes into 12 twice. Um, so, 2 times 6 equals 12. Okay, so they're both factors as well. Any other factors of 12? 4 and 3. Okay, so 3 times 4 equals 12, so... So they're both factors as well? Yeah. Very good, Nine. Any other factors of 12? No. Alright, let's do one more of these. We think of a tricky one. Let's do... What's that? I got it from my football. Oh, you've got a lovely trophy there, well done. From my match. Very good. Okay, now, what number are we doing now? Now we're doing 24. Okay, so now that the numbers are getting bigger, we need to really think about our starting point. So I want you to think of the smallest number that goes into 24 and then find a factor of it. So let's start. What's the smallest factor of 24? The smallest factor of 
24 is 1. Okay. And one. 1 times what gives you 24? 1 times 24. Very good. Okay, 1 times 24 equals 24. Okay, so you've done 1. What's the next number that goes into 24 if you go in ascending order? 2. Okay. And 2 times what <coughs> gives you 24? 2 times 12 equals 24, and I know that by my time. 2 times 12. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, brilliant. And what's the next number that goes into 24? There's 3. 3 does go into 24. Do you know how many times? 3, 6, 9, 12. So it goes into 24 eight times. Very good. Okay, so you've done 1, 2, 3. So we're going up in ascending order. What number comes next? Um, four. Okay, does four go into 24? Yes. How many times? Six times. Very good, now. Voila. Voila. Brilliant. Hi, Maya. And Bobby is removed. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> what have you got there? I have got a Venn diagram. Very good. And what is a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram is like something that, like, say if someone liked ice cream, yeah? So you would put the vanilla lovers here and the chocolate lovers here. And then the people who loved both was going there. <laughs> That's such a superb example. Brilliant. Okay, but we're not talking about ice cream. and We're talking about factors. Factors, good. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one set of factors in one of the circles and factors of another number in the second circle. And can you explain again what happens in the middle? Um, so if, like, if they're both even then two could go in the middle okay, so because the two can go into both of them. Okay, so the overlapping bit of the two circles will have the common factors. It's yeah. very important to use that word common. The factors that the numbers have in common will go in the middle. Okay, so let's try 15 and 20. Brilliant. And again, I would, I would prefer if you just think of the smallest number, but you're, you're now thinking of 15 and 20 at the same time. Do you understand what I mean? Yes. So where do we start? With 1. Okay. And 1 can go into 15, 15 times, and 1 can go into 20, 20 times. Okay, good. So where are you putting the 1? In the middle. Okay, and let's see the, the 15 and the 20. Put those in as well. The 15 and the 20. The 15. So the 15 can go into 15. And the 20 can go into the 20. Yep. And then, yeah, so 5 can go into 15. For three times. Okay. So, 5 books and 5 can go into 24 times, so okay. 5 will have to go into the middle. Okay, so 5 is another common factor. So I guess everybody has their own way that they would fill this out. 3 can go into 15, but it can't go into 20. And what about how many times is 5 going to 20? Four times. Mm -hmm. So we can put four there. Okay, brilliant. We can put two there. Because two is, 20 is an even number, so two goes into every even number. How many times is two going to 20? Ten. So, what does that mean? Ten. Ten would also be a factor. 
Yes, of 20, but not of 15. Okay. Um, Let's think of the factor pairs. So we're thinking about 20. So what's the smallest factor 20? 1. And 1 times what? 20. So 1 times 20 is 20. Then what's the next number that goes into 20? 2 times 10. So that means 2 and 10 <laughs> are factors. And then what's the next number that goes into 20? 4 times, four times 5. So that's why 4 and 5 are factors. Very good. Now let's talk about 15. What's the smallest number that goes into 15? 1. 1 times? 15. Okay. And then? 2 is not 1, so we go 3 times 5. Good. So you've covered all the factors there, and the only common factors that 15 and 20 had are, can you show us? 1 and 5. Brilliant. Very good now. What time is it now? Quiz time! Okay now, can I have a factor of 10? 5. Can I have a factor of 12? 2. Can I have a factor of... 22. 1. Then I have another factor of 22. 2. Okay. How many factors does 7 have? 2, because it's a prime number. Okay, well, we're not doing that yet, but well done. Um, what are the factors of 7? 1 and 7. Okay, good. Do you know another number that has only two factors? 5. What are the factors of five? One and five. Brilliant. Now, listen to this question. What is the highest, not the smallest, the highest common factor of eight and twelve? Four. Good, because four goes into both eight and, and 12. twelve, and it's the biggest one. Now, listen to this. What is the highest common factor of 20 and 40. 10. No. Wait. Highest 20. Yes, because 20 is a factor of itself. And it goes into both of them. Good job now. One more. A hard one. A hard one, okay. What is the highest common factor of 24 and 60? 12. Very good, Nile. Is that not hard enough? No. Okay, one more, one more, one more. What is the highest common factor of 121 and 22? Is it 2? <laughs> Two hundred and twenty-one. Um, is it one? No. And twenty-two. Yeah. Why don't you? Eleven. Very good, Nile. How many times does eleven go into twenty-two? Eleven goes into twenty-two twice, and the eleven goes into a hundred and twenty-one. 11 times. Very good. So 11 is the highest common factor. Brilliant now. That comes to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you do subscribe now. Bye. Don't forget to press that like button.